welcome back to my channel. Today I am bringing you a full face of new makeup. I am super excited. Um, okay, so I, I have a confession. I have a confession. Um, I kind of got this makeup later on this afternoon and I already had a full face on. Not like, um, like anything like this, but like simple basic kind of stuff. And I may or may not have come home and immediately stripped off my face um, with some uh, makeup wipes and uh, redid my face because I was just like, I was so excited to play with everything. But um, so yeah, I just want to kind of give you guys like a quick full face of what I'm wearing and my immediate first impressions. So it's going to be like a first impressions slash, there's a bird that's having an issue. Um, there's It's going to be like a first impression slash um, a... Um, full face of new because I'm yeah give me any guesses if you know what kind of foundation I have on meaning the type of foundation is it a cream is it a liquid is it a stick is it a powder do we know I'll, I'll give you a second I'll, I'll get up close I'll give you a second okay cool so keep that, I want you to keep that answer in your head because this, I'm, I'm shocked. <laughs> anyway, we'll go ahead and go through. So first off, the first thing that I put on my face to prep my skin was the e.l.f. Plus. This is the Glow Radiant Moisturizer. It's got coconut and hyaluronic acid. Sorry about the ding if my phone when you heard that. Um, coconut and hyaluronic acid with an SPF of 15. This thing, oh my gosh. So I can definitely tell it's got that kind of sunscreen because it has like, it's a little white and you kind of have to like really rub it into the skin, but it's so hydrating. I put it on it and it smells like coconuts, obviously. And it was absolutely beautiful. I love this. And I was like, oh my gosh, I had to go out of the house with just this on my face, like for the summertime. And it's partially what's giving me that glow all over my face. You can even see like down here. I still kind of have a glow. It's from this, you guys. And I think this was like maybe 10 bucks on Elf's website. It's, it's like I said, it's new to me. Um, and I think it's relatively new to their line, if I'm not mistaken. This is bomb. If you're a dry skin gal, oh my gosh. Now, if you're oily or you don't like a, a kind of glow factor, stay away from this because this is not... I don't think, I don't think you'll like it. But for a dry skin gal, holy guacamole, this is amazing. I love it. I love it. I'm so glad I ordered it. Okay. I'm going to save what type of foundation I'm wearing on my face last because it was just, like I said, it was such a shock to me and I, I like, what else? I'll tell you last, but so what I have on my eyes and part of my eyeshadow are two different things. I have, so my e.l.f. Bite Size uh, Quads just came in and I got five different little ones. I got cream and sugar. Oh, it's no wonder. My drawers are, no, stop it. So I got cream and sugar, which is this nice kind of light, um, natural, basic everyday one. I got, uh, this one's pumpkin pie, which I had to get this one because of like the name for it. It's very like warm tone. This would be beautiful like on fall time. Uh, this one is in the shade truffle, which is kind of a darker, smoky, um, more dramatic date night, if you will, quad. And then this one is hot jalapeno hot jalapeno and it's a really pretty green with a really stunning gold right there. I swatched all of them already because I was just like I cannot not do that. And then the last one is rose water which I know is really popular with a lot of people so it's cream and sugar but I thought it was very like soft and springy. So I am wearing cream and sugar on my eyes. Um, it is what is on the center towards the inner portion and then just the first shade and I, I layered a bunch of shades. Um, so I have, I'm going to put this open so it doesn't like blind you guys. If it'll freaking get open. Ah! So this is what is on the kind of middle to outer portion. I have this a little bit just in the outer corner. I have this in the inner corner. And I had this one in the crease. And then after that, I went in with another palette that finally came in. And I know that they like stopped shipping things out because of the C pandemic. But um, this is finally came in. It's the ColourPop Milan collection. I was like, it took forever, but man, I was so pumped about it. These shades, first off, the packaging is like gorgeous. Um, but I used the shade Fighter, is that right? No, excuse me. I used Imperial um, in the crease, and then I deepened up the outer corner with Honor right here. 
um, and I put that first and then I deepened um, the darker uh, shape of quad. So I have two of these um, on. I'm not overly fond of these pressed glitters. If I'm being totally honest, I'm not a pressed glitter gal. One of the only ones that I really like in a palette is from Tati Beauty. Um, but apart from that, like, like a girl is really beautiful. I do love Strike a Match, which is a pressed glitter, but um, it kind of comes off a little bit more. Like it blends, it doesn't look as chunky, you know what I mean? Like not like with a clear base. It kind of has like a actual cream white base to it. Um, and the Warrior is a gorgeous duochrome. Um, it's just it's just a stunning palette. I am so excited to actually play with this um, a good bit more. But this is just beautiful. I could not not try it out. And the shades are oh my god, color pop. So yeah. So um, and then I went in just because I wanted to wear a cream blush. I just put my um, Flower Beauty blush bomb and pinched on my cheeks. And then on top of that, I put whoops. On top of that, I put my Mulan blush that I got in the shade Matchmaker, which is a really pretty kind of nude, terracotta-y, more of a nude, lighter kind of color. It's really, really pretty. I love the, um, the I like the press and the pan. It's gorgeous. So, yeah. Super cute, and I kind of have that on um, that. So, and the bronzer I used was just my um, Physicians Formula Murmur Butter Bronzer. Nothing new there. But, um, yeah, these two, I'm super, super happy with the ColourPop collection. They're, they're gorgeous packaging, good formula, absolutely beautiful. And I'm super, like, stunned about the e.l.f. Like, dude, three bucks? Three bucks! And it's just, it, like, what? <laughs> Blown away at the quality. I was like, okay. Whoa, slow your roll there, boss. Okay, so my mascara that I'm wearing is a new... Um, this is the Bambi Eyes. This is from Maybelline. Did I get this right? Or is this L'Oreal? This is L'Oreal. Sorry. This is the L'Oreal Bambi Eyes. Um, I know this reflection is kind of hard, but it's the Bambi Eyes. And of course, I haven't waterproof because as we know by now, my eyes water and I have to put waterproof mascara on because otherwise my eyes can't handle. But I have them on and it like, I just put a light layer. I didn't like build it up or anything. And they are... I love it. It's super pretty. So I'm like really impressed. I'm going to see how this lasts throughout the day and see how I like it. But this is super pretty. Love it. Love it. Love it. And then on my lips, the only thing I have is just my Buxom Samantha gloss. Um, that's, that's pretty much it. So, oh, I wanted to mention these real quick too. Excuse me. I picked up these from Eco Tools. These are like three new kind of buffing brushes, if you will. This one is the Ultimate Buff, the big one. The medium one is Ultimate Pop. Ah! And then the smaller one is Ultimate Cover. Oh, I forgot to mention I have um, my Charlotte Tilbury Spotlight as my highlight on today. And that's the only highlight that I have. Um, I use it on the bridge of my nose, up on my cheeks, teeny bit on my chin. But apart from that, this is the highlight. And I use this to um, apply it with, which actually I was super surprised. I, I really like these. Um, they're pretty bomb. So uh, I use this with my cream um, blush. Just tapped it on there, and then this was the cream highlight, and then, um, yeah, so these are like a good set. I think it was like $12.99. Really nice, very heavy, dense, feels very luxurious, and they're very like well made. You can tell it's recyclable, like it's made of recycled material. Awesome. I love Eco Tools. It's they're bomb. They're bomb. Okay. So we're back now to the foundation. Remind yourself what you told yourself in the beginning about I think it's this kind of foundation. Okay? This is completely new to me, by the way. This is, I feel like it's ages old, but it's new to me, and I was I was shocked. Are you ready to see what kind of foundation I put on my face? I can't do a drum roll. It is the Bare Minerals Original Powder Foundation. You know I'm dry skin. Well, if you don't know, hi, I'm Kat. Welcome to my channel. I have dry skin. I... <laughs> I am so shocked. I'm sorry. Do we see? Like, obviously, I didn't put anything to, like, fill my pores or whatever. I just, I, I slapped that moisturizer on, and then I put this on my skin, because I was just like, I need to know. But do we? Look at that. Do you see any real type of, like, powderiness? Because, girl, I don't. I have forehead wrinkles. That, that's a thing. But it's not powdery. It just looks like my skin that's just kind of, like, you know, just kind of like perfected a little bit. blown away the color that I have is in fairy lights 03 
very light, excuse me, fairly light in 03. And so <laughs> this is actually, I got this on base um, at our kind of like mall area, our BX, but it's like a good little shopping center. And this was on sale for like 20 bucks. This is like the deluxe version, which, how much is this normally? Where's the pop, where's the box? So originally this thing is on the packaging that it came in. Um, it says, so I bought it for, excuse me, $21.46 because it was on sale. Like it was, they're getting rid of it, I guess. And it's the Deluxe Collector's Edition. It's the original foundation, by the way, not the matte, it's the original. And so if I was buying it in the store, it would retail for $46. Um, but the value of it is $69. But I bought it for $21.46. So I was like, you know what? I've always heard about this foundation, how good it is. Um, and even like for people that have dry skin, because dry skin, th this one, the original is supposed to be more kind of luminous or at least like, um, more of a sheen to it than the matte, obviously. But, um, I was like, you know what? It's on sale. It's, it's $21. You know, that's, I think the actual, um, like smaller one, the normal size, the retail price of that on base, like at our BX is 27. So I was like, this is like double the size. <laughs> 18 grams. This is huge, right? And I love the, like the Gizlemon's edition. It's like, look at that pretty packaging. But anyway, so I was like, let me just give it a go. And if I don't like it, I can always return it. Um, and I, I did exactly like, I watched a little video first to like make sure I was doing it right. And I put it in the, the cap and I swirled and I tapped and I started to buff. And it was like spending a good amount of time actually buffing this into your skin. Because the longer that you buff, the more it kind of turns into like this cream like consistency it it, it um, kind of becomes more emollient and just like sinks into the skin so i buffed and it it's not full coverage like how people some people are like oh my gosh it covers my acne and of course i don't have acne to like prove that but i do have hyperpigmentation on my cheeks um and some bits and pieces that like i know are more like problem areas for me and this was just beautiful go i mean look it was just beautiful going over and then Afterward, people were like, well, um, this one girl that I was watching, I forget her name. Um, she was like, what I do to help with powder foundation, because it is quick and easy and it does just kind of like blend into the skin, um, is I take like a setting spray. And she she had the MAC Fix Plus and I have a MAC Fix Plus and I have it in the scent coconut. But and she was like, take a bath in this. Like, you know, obviously don't work to your face is dripping, but soak it enough to where you have a nice even layer where you feel like your face is wet. So... I did that, sprayed it all down. And for me, normally, because I don't like the immediate like wetness kind of thing, I'd always take a damp sponge and I just kind of press and kind of soak up just a little bit of the extra that's on my face. And then I take something like a folder or a manila like pad kind of thing. And I sit here and I like fan my face to really like help it dry down. And then directly after I put, um, uh, a, like a one or two squirts of the dewy set from Anastasia you just kind of held it like far back like this and let it go it's kind of like a light mist and that's it um I think next though I'm going to try it with my Tatcha um dewy skin mist because I love that stuff and it really gives me that kind of dewy skin obviously dewy skin mist um dewy skin kind of glow but I was so shocked and the thing that like and everybody always says and I'm getting ahead of myself sorry everybody always says that um the color is a lot darker um on here than it is on your face and I was gonna get a shade darker but um I looked at it and I was like I actually think that's pretty close to my skin tone and I have a little little bit of a base tan going on right now and I still actually think that my face is slightly darker than my neck and my arm so and this is shade number three so I was like I think it'll be good like this is very versatile because it, I don't feel it really like what's what I'm trying to say I don't feel that this kind of is like true to the color I feel it's more blended it's kind of depending on how much you use it kind of blended into the skin and it kind of almost like adapts in a way at least that's how I feel it acted on my skin it kind of just blended in with everything and also it says um like on the tutorials and stuff it was like use a small amount smaller than you think you need don't go ham and just start putting a bunch of powder layer as you need it but start with small amounts and really work and buff into each section and I was like I am so shocked. I would never have thought, like, I powder my face to, like, set my face when I use, um, like, liquid foundations, but I never would have thought that a powder foundation would be the only thing that I would wear on my face to kind of even out my tone. I am shocked, you guys. Very pleasantly shocked. 
So yeah, that that's all that I have that's new on my face. Like I said, I was so excited. I was just like, I need to film a video. I need to get this out there because I'm just like, whoa. <laughs> and just awesome. So yeah, so those are the, the few things that I have. I have the ColourPop Mulan collection, which is bomb. I keep, I, I want to play with this a bunch more. I have the Maybelline Bambi Eyes. I have five of the Elf Bite Size Quads, which I totally plan on playing with that some more. Cannot wait to do this foundation a little more and get this going. I'm obsessed with this Glow Moisturizer from e.l.f. Like, what? And, and these brushes from Eco Tools are like, if you're like getting into cream products or like that, these are bomb. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Crazy. So that's it. That's all for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it and uh, I hope you're doing well wherever you are in the world. Um, take your vitamin C, wear your mask if you go outside. Um, hit the like button down below. Subscribe to my channel. Also hit the bell so you'll be notified of any future uploads that I have. And uh, don't forget to follow me over on Instagram. It's at Kat Um I'm having a little problems like inserting stuff into my videos and I don't know why. I'm, I'm, I think my editing tool is being weird. So I might get a new one. But anyway, hopefully it'll pop up somewhere. Um, or I would have already put it in earlier when I just said my handle or it'll pop up now. But whatever. Um, so yeah, have a great day wherever you're at. We'll get through this shortly. Hopefully things will start opening back up. Um, so yeah, try to stay sane throughout the rest of this quarantine. And I will see you guys very soon. Bye.